Good morning, guys. I'm Neil. With the, I'm an ambassador with the Chamber of Commerce. It's a, a privilege to, to do the things that we do. And we're here this morning to introduce you to New Smyrna Assisted Living. This is Tammy Owens, or if we want to be formal, Dr. Tammy Owens. This is one of three places that she has. She has another one off of 44 and one in Port Orange. But we want to celebrate this place and this business today. So, Tammy, Thank tell you. us what we need to know about you. Well, thanks, everybody, for coming. And like you said, I own three. I opened this one in March. And um, I have six residents, so I'm full. And I have another one on Timber Lane Drive in New Smyrna and one in Port Orange off of um, Broken Bow Lane. So all three of them um, host six residents. And we have um, more, we can give more care because of only six residents at one time. And I'd like to introduce you to Anna. Anna works with me and Jessica. I think some of you saw Jessica. Where did Jessica go? I think she's right here. Oh, we want Jessica. Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> and um, also, this is my husband, Gary. So I'm glad he can make it. And then I'd like to thank um, Melissa from Gentiva and also Penny from Nurse on Call because they helped to sponsor the event too. Um, uh, I want to also say that we're private pay. Um, some people don't know that insurance does not pay for assisted living. So I always recommend um, if you don't have long-term care insurance, get it. So Because I know uh, my kids would probably put me in a roach motel. So I want to make sure that I have a nice place like this. You know, because um, this is more like a home. You know, and that's what we're catering to. We don't want it to look like a facility or an institution. And so that's um, kind of my little niche, is that they're upscale. Um, and so I have Facebook pages. Please like my Facebook pages. And I also, of course, have websites. If you're interested in the other two places, I have brochures in the kitchen on those two places, if, you're, you know, if this isn't um, where you live or what you're interested in. Does anyone have any questions for me? Do you sleep, Tammy, ever? Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I, I don't. And I also have cameras and microphones in all the common areas. So um, the microphone is up there. You can't really see it. The camera's in the corner. And so I can see from home what's going on. Or my iPhone, I can see what's going on. And do I ever, like, call you and say, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, that's something. If you're not used to knowing that she has the camera and she calls you and goes, who is that standing in the... She's done it to me. I was in uh, Spruce Creek and she's like, hey, tell Melissa. And she's I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> so, What's the cost for a, a person to stay here? Probably. It ranges from 3700 up to 4000 a month. And that includes everything. We don't have any additional fees or anything. It um, includes all the help with bathing. All the medicine is always locked up, so we assist with medication. Um, we assist with grooming, transferring, um, all the meal prep, um, all the snacks, all of the laundry. So it's just like kind of like a bed and breakfast. You know, we do it all for you, and we cater to our residents for sure. Sounds more like a hotel to me than a yeah. bed and breakfast. And Tammy, you have no move-in fee, correct? No move-in fee, no application fee. It's month to month, so it's not like you're investing your life fortune, and and then you don't you can't move because you don't have any more money left, but. Um, and we can assist. There is a, be a veteran's benefit um, if you know uh, someone who's interested that's a veteran. Um, but if you have any questions, please, you know, I'm, I've been only doing this for five years. I was an educator for 20. So um, it's, it's definitely um, very rewarding and, um, be, to be able to help all these families out. Can you also do respite? Yes, respite, we can do respite. Let's say that you have a mom that's in the hospital and she needs a two-week stay. So she can get physical therapy. She's not all, you work and you can't take care of her. We also do that just for a couple weeks or, you know, a few days. Um, for instance, if you're caring for someone with Alzheimer's or something and you want to go on vacation, you know, I'll, I'll watch your, your loved one for a week. Yeah. If I have a bed open, of course. Sure. But. Does anybody have any other questions or things they'd like to talk about or ask? Do you get most of your business from referrals? Are yes, actually, I'm, um, my biggest um, advertising is word of mouth word from of mouth. families. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and, you know, sometimes families are guilt-ridden, but then once the residents get here and they see that they're, you know, actually living and they're eating better and they have socialization and they're talking to people their own age, then they say, why didn't I do this a long time ago? 
because sometimes they don't they're not the nicest people with family members but here you know they, they it's just like kids you know <laughs> you know your kids aren't um, the best behaved when you with them but you send them off to school and the teacher says oh he's so nice and he's such a good and I'm like <laughs> okay <laughs> um, so well, it, it sounds like you go to great lengths to make this a sort of family atmosphere yeah. And that's really what we do as a Chamber of Commerce. We are a family and we sort of hang together and do things together.